We're live, 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 live here in the Super Cowboy Show. How's everybody tonight? We are live here from studio. <laughs> there we go. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, there we go. Am I too hot? You're good. <laughs> You're in the hot seat. Yeah, I'm too hot. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in to the Super Cowboy Show. I'm here with my beautiful co-host, Princess Angie. Hey, Ooh, there we go. And we have here our special guest, none other than Mr. Three-time Super Bowl champion, Mr. Dixon Edwards. Woo! Hello. Should I I'll be looking here? Yeah, right oh, here. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Hello, TV land. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming in, Dixon. I, yeah, I didn't get a I didn't get a, a I bling. I didn't get like a bling <laughs> yeah. or something. You know, something. <laughs> some cheers. It's like, wow, yeah, it's okay. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Give me a sound effect. Do you, do you like yeah. the, the Yeah, yeah. I was checking it out. You had the yeah. That, yes, that's cool. That's tight. Okay, okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You got some intro music for you. There you go. Hey, hey, Thank hey, you. Hey, hey. So, are you on camera also? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Movie. All right. So, how is it like sp split screen or something? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh no, it's cool. I just yeah, I just think this is this is a pretty cool setup you got here, man. How long did it take y'all to set this up? Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> too, too long, too long. <laughs> the behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was plenty of behind the scenes. Yes. I was like, don't, don't the touch scenes. the mic. Yeah, exactly. Don't touch the mic. Okay, don't okay, it. don't move. Stay right here. Yes, stay still. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on over there? Oh. What's going on here? Are we having technical difficulties? Can we see how many people are, are attending? Is it working? Not working. There, there we go. See it up there. Um, we see mm. a S F and a star. Yeah. Are we are we introing again? <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty cool, man. Can you play? But it's not live no more, is it? Yeah, we're live. We're live right now. Oh. Oh, there we are! Hey, hey. hey how you doing? Hey. It's, gonna a, it's gonna be a delay, but we're, we're up there. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I need to I need to bud my blouse. <laughs> we were gonna be like, oh, yeah, what is that? Is that a belly button? I got a belly ring. Oh I got a tramp stamp. I got everything. What is this? Oh. You're telling all your secrets already. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we're, I, we're really getting started. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Welcome. Welcome. To the Super Cowboy Show Late yeah. Night Show. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Everything goes. It's nighttime. Yes, it, it is. is. Did y'all know that you can see AT&T Stadium from right here? <laughs> did y'all? No one believes us, but you're here. Did you see that? Yeah. I, oh, I didn't yeah. know that y'all knew that. Y'all can see the actual see the stadium. Did you yeah. see the little speck? Yeah, <laughs> that light over there. So was, was so was it popping the day uh, Beyonce was here? Was it? Did y'all see all that? This is where we watched the, the your concert. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, yes. yeah. <laughs> we don't have to spend yeah, money. no money. No. It was cool. Yeah, this is That's straight. That's my point for the popcorn. Yeah, yeah. we're just chilling right here. Yeah, this is all right. Yeah. yeah. So the XFL games. Mm -hmm. did, did they have those over there? They have them at the old uh, at the old stadium. Oh, yeah. can can you see that from here too? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right Rangers. Yeah, they're right there. Yeah, Rangers and all stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty you know, cool. So you got a couple just at yeah. night. It's a little bit more difficult to see, yeah. but you know, I'm yeah. glad you took that out because people can believe us. And... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, like, like man, you can see all this stuff over here. Yeah, <laughs> everybody, everybody should come here on Fridays. <laughs> And hang out. Yes. Have a drink of water. If that's what we're gonna call it, I'm just kidding. This, this, this is the thingy that we call drink of water. Oh my goodness! This is this Ooh. is the kind of fun we have here at the Super Cowboy Show. That's yes. how we do it here on Friday nights. Yes. Thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna turn into my my voice, my sexy voice for. Uh, oh my goodness! 
Yeah. <laughs> it's I when, bring my dollars. It's, yeah, it's when the masks come on. There you go. Cool. It's when the masks come on. <laughs> yeah. So am I allowed? To, no, I won't say it. I'll save it. I'll save it. <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll keep it. See, parental. You guys, you guys have to stay tuned. <laughs> parental. We'll keep it. Parental guidance. Yeah. Yes. Anything goes here. Anything goes yes, here. Yes, we, it we does. Talk about everything here. <laughs> yeah, yes. This is a safe spot. It, yes. For everybody. Yes. yes it is. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> Are you gonna, you got to take off your sweat. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, guys. Mm, yes. We, we got a comment uh, on here. We got Mr. Oh, Mr. Mr. You're actually Sherry. turning red. Look I at you. You, <laughs> you okay? You want, you want a water? <laughs> Woo <-wee. laughs> Okay. This is my fancy cologne. That's what it is. See, that's what it is. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, we okay. are coming here for Miss no Sherry Godmother. She says hello to us. Hey, hello. hello. How are you doing? We got some comments up there. Where is she, where is she about? Where is she? Where she, is she? In, she's in San Francisco, actually. They're oh, wow. There. They're getting ready to. Uh, for the game? Are they yeah. tailgating out there? Uh, yeah, they're having an event tonight. That's are the cool. San Francisco fans as intimidating as the Oakland Raider fans were? I don't think so. Yeah, because <laughs> I used to be scared to win against the Oakland Raiders. Really? Yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, we so we went out there. I think that was at the Rose Bowl in 95 or something. Uh -huh. And uh, we won. And the way that the Rose Bowl is, uh, the buses are outside. You know, not you don't like you don't go down in the tunnel like here at AT&T. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, you're outside and you're like the fans could just walk past your bus. <laughs> You know, and so we won. And if you could have seen, oh my God. you know, the intimidation of the silver and black yeah. Raiders fans and how they looked at us when we were on the bus oh and stuff. God. I was like, dude, are we going to get up out of here or what? Yeah. You know, and I don't know if they're as bad as uh, Philly fans, though. Oh. You know, Philly. Yeah. yeah. Philly. Yeah. Band, yeah. yeah. And uh, batteries, snowballs with batteries yeah, in them. No. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they just throwing stuff. Oh, exactly. You know, I guess this, you know, it's an emotional game. Yeah, I know. When it comes to Philly, it's... yeah, especially when they lose to the Cowboys at home. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We got another comment here from Mr. Patrick Milan. He says, "What's up, fam?" Hello. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Hello. We got Mr. Dixon Edwards here. Uh, if you guys want to call in, we got the number. We got the number strolling in the bottom here. It's 682-270-0475. So if you guys want to call in, you have a Ooh, question, you want to say hello. Questions. Jerry, you know, Jerry could always call in. Who knows? Oh my Who knows? God. He's across the street, probably. Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> That's his helicopter right there. You see that? You see the helicopter? It just landed. Exactly. I wonder, did he take the helicopter to go see the Beyonce concert? Yeah, he probably did. He probably, yeah. yeah, you think he, he did? He, he takes it from home, I think. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool, you yeah. know. So just helicopter in. Yeah, just helicopter nice. in for the concerts, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, I mean, this is like a venue. You can have concerts and stuff in here. Exactly. Yes, there you exactly. go. Yeah. Especially on special Friday. Money. Yeah. <laughs> trying to make some money. <laughs> Speaking of money, I was looking at, at this thing right here. Are y'all actually making twenty one thousand a month on this deal? Where? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man. <laughs> Do y'all really no. make that much money? <laughs> 21000 Yeah. I was like, I'll take that right now. <laughs> yes. We're going to have to shut down need, the show. That's We're what I'm saying. I got to give, give me one. I got to give me one of these setups. I got to give me one of these setups. I know, right? Forget <laughs> <laughs> playing football. I know, right? <laughs> 21000 every man, Friday. Man. That would be tough. Yeah, that would be you know, it would be tough, awesome. you know, trying to get somewhere to find something to eat. Yeah, shopping Whole Foods or something. Oh, we can't say people can. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Yeah, oh, we can't. It's okay. Uh, it's what is the here. F? It was. It was the FCC. <laughs> They're gonna come. Out. Yeah, the Alphabet Boys are coming. They're knocking on the door. You're, you're mentioning two people. So the fans need to know that they made me take the label <laughs> off of my water. I grabbed. They took that. <laughs> Look at that. No, you, yeah, you got to take the label <laughs> off of your water. The torture. I like, said, man, water? look at this. It's just water. Actually, it was Angie that grabbed yeah, it. So I was like, that man, that yeah, you're not messing up our sponsors and stuff. I said, man, is it really that? Yes. Speaking, speaking about sponsors, take oh, it to our sponsors. Of sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> take it to our sponsors. Want a taco? 
thank you so much. La Sirena Mexican Street Theater Bar. Yeah. And Front End Inc. on Main Street in Grand Prairie. Thank oh, you so okay. much for your sponsorship, Mr. David Martinez. Also, we want to say a special thank you to JJ Martinez. Uh, he hooked us up with some Miller Light passes last week. Oh, that's cool. And that was awesome. And prayers to your dad. I hope he gets better. Um, he was supposed to come to the game, but, you know, he couldn't because of his dad. Uh, he was ill, but I think he's doing better. Oh, that's good. And uh, thank you so much. As usual. So the, the restaurants that are sponsoring us? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Where are they located? Where are uh, down there? Bellline Road. Wana Tacos on Bellline Road. Oh, okay. Bellline Road and Pioneer. Is it authentic? Oh, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like the yeah. real deal? That's you like know? Mexican food? Yeah, yeah, man, I always go down to the valley. Yeah, yeah, shoot the valley. I love the valley. I've been down there five times this year. Nice. I love, yeah, eventually I like to give me a house in the valley. Really? Yeah, so, yeah, somewhere down there. Yeah. You know, I like, uh, you know, more, you know, maybe towards the island a little bit better. Yeah. More. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm cool with McAllen. Matter of yeah. fact, last uh, Christmas, I did the McAllen. Uh, Christmas parade, oh, right. and it is an awesome Christmas parade. Nice. I mean, like, yeah, I think, yeah, it was, and it, I mean, it was really, 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 really nice. Yeah. And I mean, it just went on forever. Mm -hmm. nice. And um, it was so crazy is that people walked the entire route. And I'm really? like, dude, yeah, it was like, it felt like it was like five miles. Yeah. I was tired standing up on the float, you know, <laughs> and, uh, but it was an awesome thing. People should. I don't even think if people even promote it, they even promote that. No, you, yeah, people it. should yeah, go I down know, there. Yeah, know, dude, it, it is a real like I've never seen any coverage on it or anything, and it's a really really nice program. Like the entire thing, it's very very nice. So check that out. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate them giving uh, uh inviting me down there to do that. Oh, it was great. So shout out to them. Yep. Shout yeah. Shout out to the city of McAllen. Yeah, yeah, yeah McAllen. Yeah, 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 Brownsville. Brownsville. You know. Uh, San Benito, uh, yeah, in the, in the you know, uh, Arlington, absolutely, yeah, so it's cool. All right, uh oh, we got questions. Hold on, how much time we got left? I thought I was gonna run my mouth so I wouldn't have to answer questions. I was I answer yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> and she got like three pages of questions. Like, what, what? Let me okay, well, do I need to focus? I need to focus. Oh, just a little. Okay, all right. Let, little. Let, me, let, me, let me get serious. Oh, okay. Man. Okay. Yeah, no. This is between two ferns. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I kind of, I the stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to do so. Well, I want to know. I kind of want to go back a little bit. Oh, uh, you know, before what, you were born. <laughs> there you go. The I way back want, machine. I don't want to be that. Mr. Peabody. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> So you were uh, you went to high school in Ohio? Yes. Okay. So were you born and raised in Ohio? Yes. You were. Okay. <laughs> two for two. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah, I got one more. I'm going to win. Tack, tick, tack, so I got my three. Go exactly. Oh my God. Now I lost it. <laughs> see? Look at you. So, so let me see. I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, born and raised in the same house and uh i was uh i played football at uh, aiken high school uh falcons swoop okay. swoop swoop that's what we did falcon swoop uh so you know what was cool like you know it's really cool check this out uh -huh. so i was um, excuse me i was on my wikipedia page uh -huh. and i got a wikipedia page right uh -huh. so <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I, I made it so I got a week of pity page and I clicked on, uh, it says my high school. Uh -huh. So I clicked on my high school and it actually lists me really? on my high school uh, Wikipedia page. Nice. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah, like, awesome. yeah. yeah. It was like, uh, it said notable uh, alumni. What? And I was the second guy down. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was like, good. I was like, I was like, dude, that was kind of cool. You know, yeah. like of all the thousands and thousands yeah. of students that went to this high school, exactly. I'm notable. Look, yeah. Have you gone back? Uh, yeah, I went back uh, in, man, it was back in the early, early, golly, was that in the early 2000s? Mm -hmm. But now the school is totally different. Yeah. But um, they retired my jersey back then. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, a, it was actually pretty cool. And um, uh, 
a lot of a lot of Aiken fans out yeah. there and stuff. So that's, that's, uh, pretty, that's pretty so that's cool. where I'm from. Yeah, yeah Cincinnati. Shout out, shout yeah. out to Aiken. Yeah, yeah, Aiken High School. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, the Falcon know. swoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then my, so my father was he was a uh, he was a vocational director, principal mm -hmm. of a rival school, which was Withrow High School. So, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So yeah, so my senior year, they you know the principal had me in the pep rally speak about the rivalry and everything. He said, "What what what is notable about you know Withrow High School?" And I told everybody, I said, "Yeah, my father he's he's like a principal over there and everything." So. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna eat his food. He's gonna try to poison me for the game. <laughs> yeah, I got the runs. I can't win. Yeah, we're gonna win. So, yeah. Did you guys win? Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. PHSL, Public High School League. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was like football. Like you always wanted to play football. No, I'm not really a football fan. Oh, yeah, really. I'm not. No, oh, no. So, what's the sport? Uh, I'm, I'm not really a sport guy, anyway. You know. Oh, so, really? yeah. You know. It's so like if if something you're you're good at doing, like you're uh -huh. good at you're good at hooking up this equipment and stuff like that. So it was something. So when you know how when you're in the um in the I think it's the tenth grade or eleventh grade, and you have that fear. That you're like, dude, I only got two more years of this. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What am I gonna do with my life? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I took one of those tests where it says what you're gonna be, you know, and uh, it was, I, I should have kept the thing. It said that you were going, I was going to be a professional football player no or, or, and, uh, or a uh, first and then an architect. Mm -hmm. And then when I took it again my senior year, it, it switched. It said architect and professional football player. Really? It, it actually said <laughs> professional. What? Yeah. So when I was in high school, you know, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. But mm -hmm. when I was in high school, uh, the teachers used to say in front of the class, they used to be like, Dixon, when you go pro and I'd be like all embarrassed and stuff, you know, like, yeah, yeah like when you, you're going to go pro. And I'm like, man, I, you know, yeah. shoot, I can't even pass this class. You know, so, <laughs> you know, yeah. so going, pro? You're going, going pro, I ain't yeah. going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And my, matter of fact, my coach said that to me. Yeah, he said, yeah, they, yeah they, they, he looked at my grades. He said, son, <laughs> you know, it's bad when he first, the coach starts saying, yeah. son. <laughs> he said, right here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's like, you know what, son, you can actually get a scholarship if you, you know, he said, but with these grades, you ain't going nowhere. And I said, really? I said, really? You think I can get a scholarship? He said, yeah. I said, he said, well, I said, well, what do you think I'm going to need? He said, you said, he said, you're going to have to get your senior year nothing but A's and B's. That's what he said. The entire, and then he said, very few B's. <laughs> Oh, it was so it was so cool yeah john young <laughs> he said it. very few bees and i showed so i was like man i'm, I'm actually going to you know have an opportunity to do this you know because yeah. you know i didn't think i it was going to even in like that yeah so i mean i mean i got nothing but a's you know at, you? shoot dude i was like man i'm i'm, I'm gonna get this done nice. yeah i sure did yeah people people can go back there and look at the transcript so <laughs> <laughs> I get a clap. That's what she they can go back and look at it. I'm like, dude, that's right. Go look at my transcripts, dude. I passed everything. I was like, man, I'm getting my butt out here. My fact, so this is so also crazy, right? So I'm not a football fan. Like, I don't know much about the sport. You know, like it was something I was good at doing. So uh I was getting the recruiting trips, you know, like they, they come in there and everything. And my coach said to me, he's caught, they, they call me down. You know, they like during class, they'll call you down. Uh -huh. Say, Dixon, come on down to the to the office, you know, to the football. Yeah, uh -huh. go down to the football building. So because your coach needs in it, you're it's another college here to come see you. Yeah. So the uh, my coach says, yeah, you know, it's a school that wants to see you. And I, I was running short on my visits back then. He said, well, uh, I said, well, what's the name of the school? He said, uh, Michigan State. I said, do I want to go there? Because I, I don't have a, I don't have that many visits left. He, said, he looked at me so sad. He's like, son, yes, you want to go to Michigan State. Oh, OK. All right. Well, let me let me go to Michigan State. You know what I'm saying? I was like, dude, I don't know nothing about football. Even to this day, I don't really know. I know how to play. Yeah. You know, like you know, how to, you know how to hit somebody. Yeah. Yeah. I know how to hit, but I know how not to hit. I know yeah. how when to hit. 
how often to hit, you know, and I know all that kind of stuff, but I know how to play, but I'm, I just never was a fan. So Dave wants that, you know, Dave wants mm -hmm. that. Absolutely. One, Dave wants that said to me one time, he said, Dixon, you could actually be pretty good if you studied the game. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, okay. Yeah, that's what he said. He said, he said, he, and he was so sincere, like my coach did. Yeah. When he was like, Dixon, you know, you're going to Michigan State. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You didn't start playing until you were in high school then? No, no. I, I was playing in the, in the, I started playing in the fifth grade. So, oh. yeah, but I was going to quit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's, it's, you're like, yeah, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. You, know, uh, you don't know. But did you know? Yeah. Did you ever put. So everybody, yes. everybody that puts on football equipment, they get that one hit where it's like, oh, oh, I'm done with this. Yeah. This, yeah, this, this ain't for me. Nah, I'm good with this deal here. Yeah. So I had it like, I had at least three of those hits my 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 first day of practice, you know. Yeah. And uh, so uh, my dad, when he bought the equipment, he oh. said to me, he said, Dixon, you know, if I buy this equipment. Uh, you can't quit. And it, equipment was like like $127 back in the damn 70s. You know, so, you know, it's like a million dollars now. Yeah. And so yeah. so he said to me, he said, you know, if I buy this equipment, you can't quit. I said, no, I think I like it. You know, and that was the first two days we didn't have no pads on. So I was like, it was cool. You know, yeah. it's just like playing street football. Yeah. Shoot, that first day them dudes hit me. So, 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 so uh, Saturday, my dad was out in the den. In, uh, in the family room, and he said, uh, he said, uh, he said, uh, I said to him, I said, Dad, I want to talk to you. And he said, What? <laughs> I said, Oh, never mind. <laughs> he, 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 yeah, he said, What? I said, Oh, never mind. That's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd rather take this beating here every day, three times a day. Then that thing over there, that dude crazy right there. <laughs> yeah, for real, like for real. Yes, exactly. uh, you know what I'm saying? That's, like yeah. thing. Yeah, that's right. That daddy, yeah. daddy was crazy. You know, that's so crazy. Like, you know how people, uh, they uh, stand up to their father. They have like these stand, these mm -hmm. stories where they stood up to their father. Yeah. I never considered it ever. Yeah. I was like, like no. no, that man crazy. Like <laughs> legitimately, there's something wrong with him. You know, but you know it's cool. He passed it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm starting to understand it. Yeah. Yeah, so. Wait, should I like run out or something? <laughs> no, it's okay. It's manageable. They got medication. That's, that's where the football career started. <laughs> yes, that's what you yeah you you have to have a little bit of something's wrong with you to go out there and go through that punishment. Right. It's got to be a little something's wrong with you. It's always like that. Yeah. It's either the dad or the mom. Like, you know, I don't want to yeah. hear from moms. I'm oh, dead. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, so, so one day. One day, my mom, so so this is my mom relative to my athletic ability. Right? So one day she was, we were sitting at the table and somehow she accidentally knocks something over on the table, right? And she literally reached down and grabbed it before it, it hit the ground yeah. and put it up there, put it, yeah, put it back up on the table. And she said, you wonder where you got it from, right? <laughs> Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was amazing how she just swap, and it was like, whoa! I was like, that was pretty tight, awesome. though. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I guess I'll get to stop running my mouth, or you will oh, never. No, when, or, 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 we'll, or we'll never. Uh... Some of my questions are answering, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing the work. <laughs> I was like, next. next, next. <laughs> so I'm, I'm killing all her question book. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so. So after, you know, that like in school telling you, oh, you're going to be like a, you know, a football player. Like, when did you know, like, hey, I, you know, I can do this. Like, I'm going to kind of keep going and I can get a scholarship. Like, when was it in you? Uh, so, so I'm a, I'm a tell you, uh, I, it didn't register mm -hmm. until I arrived in, in Dallas at the uh, star. I'm uh, not a star, but the, uh. Valley Ranch, Valley Ranch. Mm -hmm. the Valley Ranch. Yeah, that regal blue carpet. It didn't register that I was actually, uh, I mean, I'd already got drafted, you know, and it was so crazy about that draft. So I, they said my name mm -hmm. on the TV mm -hmm. and it was like, wow, they actually said my name on TV. <laughs> Everybody started coming over, you know, and all this other stuff. And, um, and uh, like five minutes later, there was a man at the door with a cowboy hat. 
And he said, my name is so-and-so. I'm from the Dallas Cowboys, and I came here to uh, to come take you to Dallas. So literally, this guy took us, had us tickets. He said, who do you want to go with you? I said, my mom and my dad. So uh, he said, okay, well, I got a car right here. And like literally, dude, like two hours later, I was on a plane coming to Dallas after I was drafted. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, it was it was like like and then it, ever since ever since that day mm -hmm. it's never been the same. Like I've just I I'm just like living in a like fantasy place, like you know, like, change, you kind of like Yeah, like play. yeah, it's like but it's like a fantasy place. I'm like mm -hmm. I'm like like not even like a real like I'm in a dream or something, you know. Mm -hmm. Ever since that day, it's just been a been a totally different deal. So uh so that's when it it kind of it registered to me when I I you know, saw that carpet. And then, you know, I went over and saw Coach Johnson and he was like, you know, you know, basically we got you now. And uh, just like they said in the, uh, when I went to college, you know, the honeymoon is over, mm -hmm. you know, this is where the work begins. And, you know, as a matter of fact, um, Coach Johnson didn't really like me, you know, not, yeah. I mean, not, not, yeah. not like, not, not yeah. like me. Um, he didn't think that I was performing well in Dallas, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, <laughs> I remember he came up to me and he said, Dixon, um, uh, you just ain't really what we thought you were, and uh, things ain't really working out. And I was like, "Wow!" I'm like, "Okay." Yeah, and I, I wanted to talk to you about something else. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> Ouch. I, I was like, "Where you know, now, you know, you know." You think that was a little bit of a mind game, maybe? Oh, to is, get you yeah. To so perform? the yeah. So the professional or. Football period mm -hmm. is full of mind games. Right. It's, it's to motivate you to be better than you were before. Right. Every everything that they do is it's about mind games. Matter of fact, what is more, what is at you know where I when I played in the era I played, uh, what is worse than the physical uh, beating is the mental beating uh, that you're taking because one thing that they're saying is not what what is being meant and like what did he just say or what he didn't say and this it, it, this it stuff is uh it was exhausting yeah. so when i left i left and, and a lot of people they you know like i stayed away from football for like 12 years after i retired mm -hmm. like i stayed away from it uh -huh. like people and it was one guy, Joe Cavino. <laughs> he saw me in Walmart. <laughs> he said, <laughs> and I was just walking in Walmart. And he said, Hey, he said, uh, are you Dixon Edwards? And I said, Yeah, I'm Dixon Edwards. He said, People are looking for you. I said, What do you mean looking for me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They were like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they were like, dude, you know, you're a you're you know, like a you're a three-time Super Bowl champion yeah. with the Dallas Cowboys. People, yeah. people want 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 to see you, they want to talk to you and all this other stuff. And I'm like, man, whatever. <laughs> Dude, that, that was that was 10 years ago, yeah. you know, when I used to do all that stuff. I yeah. said, man, I don't I don't but he said, well, you know, they'll pay you. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, How much are we talking about? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> and it's not 21,000. <laughs> How are y'all making 21,000 a week? <laughs> on, this, on this podcast, that's amazing. <laughs> you know, yeah. we, might be, we might negotiate something here. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, dude, that's this twenty one thousand. That's amazing. That's crazy, and it's what the twenty one thousand. <laughs> that too. All right. um, but you know, the 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 fact that you're touching base on you know mental health because that is crazy that you don't think about it, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, being in football and people don't see that way that it plays a toll in your mind because of the way that, you you know, you they talk to you or like just the aspect of football itself. Uh -huh. So how did you like cope with it for it? Like you not to let it get to you. Oh, okay. So in my house, uh, back then you used to uh, have the ability to program what, channels or channels that were on your tv mm -hmm. you know so make sure that there was no espn nothing sports related playing in my house there is no jerseys mm -hmm. no football memorabilia if you go in my house there's no football memorabilia in it i don't want to have any reminders of that and uh so and uh i just never talked about it never did anything relative to it you know mm -hmm. just to keep my mind away from it mm -hmm. and then, uh you know it's a it's a very tough job you yes. know playing playing professional sports and especially at the level that we we were always 
uh, asked to be at. Mm -hmm. Even though we didn't see that we were that good, we we actually were, and it took a lot of motivation. And sometimes that motivation is is um, is a, a little harsh, yes. <laughs> uh, and you know, and and being able to motivate people. But it, it was it was cool though. I don't think that I answered the question right. No, you're good. You're yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to make sure that I was cool with the mental health part of it. You know what I'm saying? You're like, let me answer, but not really. No, yeah, I'm that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Are, are you saying you're backpedaling here? No, just yeah, kidding. you're no, extremely. <laughs> like my, I'm moonwalking like Michael Jackson, bro. Which I had a question about. about Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Oh. So, 92 Super Bowl in Pasadena. Awesome. Yes, I didn't get um, the same though. Oh, that was his that was question. Yeah, <laughs> I think Kenny Gant said he actually met him. Oh, really? Yeah, he said he was short. Oh, I said, I said, yeah, 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 yeah. Talk to we Kenny Gant. We Kenny on the show here, but we forgot to ask him that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kenny said he was short. I said, really? He he said not like Prince short though. He was yeah. just like kind of small, and you know, and mm -hmm. whatever. And I said, oh, really? I was like, man, I wish I had known. Uh, I would have liked to have saw him or met him or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's yeah. a story, I think, about Michael, right? Michael went on the tunnel because he was like, I'm not missing this show or something like that. Oh, did he? I think oh, so. Oh, that's cool. Because Jimmy was like, nope, no one's watching it. You guys have yeah. to stay in the locker and, and stuff yeah, like that. But so, I think I heard that, that Michael sneaked out and he's like, I got to watch some yeah, part of this. Yeah, but it's, it's on YouTube. <laughs> it's, I guess it's, you know, but man, it was that whole, you know, when we, after we won san francisco mm -hmm. it was like it was i mean like the the whole team was like a different team really? like, but it it all started in my opinion after we won san francisco yes and then everybody knew that it was going to be at some team in the nfc east or san francisco was going to win mm -hmm. <laughs> the super bowl yeah. you know back then you know yeah. but it was one of those teams so the the championship game was the Super Bowl game. Right. I mean, it was just electric. I mean, go back and watch him on YouTube. It, YouTube's it was, it was an electric time. And you know, the cool thing is, um, the cool thing is that when you're out on the field, and a lot of people don't know this, but the crowd cheering like all around you, you feel the pressure of the crowd on you. And it helps to motivate you. Like it's like literally like a frequency that you feel this pressure on you, just like at a loud concert. Right. But it's cheering all around you, and you feel it, and you you know you get like a little bit of a rush from that. You know, it's like it's like sitting sitting behind a V twelve Ferrari motor. Yeah. You know, if, you know yeah, if you can, yeah. yeah, if you could just picture yourself, you know, not not behind you, no, mm -hmm. you know, not 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 a V behind you. But a V in front of you, yeah. and is that is an experience of being in a behind a V twelve Ferrari, and it was just like that. It's a, it's a rush, and a, it just, and then from there, you know, we went on and 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 we actually started feeling that we were we were successful that we can actually do this. Yeah, but you know, everybody was green. You know, if you could have seen like that. You know those first few playoff games. You know eyes were wide. <laughs> we like, right. You know, and then we we won this game, and shoot, then we won the next game, and then once you won that Super Bowl, and then it it really it was really bad after we won the second Super Bowl. Right. And you know, you know what was so so messed up though. Um, uh, by the third time that we looked like we were going to the mm -hmm. Super Bowl. People were starting to kind of hate on us a little bit, you know. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, it was, it was, they weren't really, yeah, you know. And, so. and, and it continued to till now. Yeah, yeah, for real, yeah. <laughs> They're still I mean, hating yeah, 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 but no, no, I'm not talking about like local. It was like local people. It was, I was kind of like, yeah. Really? I mean, actually, I went some places and you know, and the people said that uh, I'm glad y'all lost, oh, you know, and I was. <laughs> You know, what? but I, I was like, yeah. So they'd be like, dude, you got a job. You you can't take it out on them. They're okay. They can have their opinion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it was kind of hurtful. I'll meet you outside. Yeah. Don't you know, like, dude, I'm out here bleeding this every damn yeah. game, yeah. you know, and you know, and you over there sitting like, you glad I lost? I'm like, man, you know, yeah. I mean, uh, I worked hard for this, because for, uh, regardless of the money, you know, I work very hard at what I do, you know. So, so that's the one thing about it is that uh, I'm really. I'm not a football fan. I don't watch it. You know, the games come on. You know, I don't mm -hmm. I don't really support the team like that and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff though. But 
Um, you know, but so whatever you decide to do, you just you do you be the best at it. And and I had a lot of pride relative to what I did and being the best at whatever I did. Absolutely. You know, you you pick what you're gonna do and just be the best at it. And you know, that's that's the pride I had relative to it. I don't really care about what it was though, but mm -hmm. you know, so that part of it kind of bothered me, especially as because a lot of people don't realize how much work you put in, you right. know. Yes. And the work that you're talking about is my experiences that I got when I was you know after the third game third day of practice where i wanted to quit you know yeah. and from that point all the way up to here it's gotten me to this point because right. i didn't quit and exactly. i tried you know and i kept doing what i doing what i thought i i, I maintained integrity in doing mm -hmm. what i was supposed to do yeah. right. so yeah and, and that gets lost as a fan it gets yeah. lost it's just yeah. like you suck and you this and yeah. I would have done this. It's like no, go on the field. Yeah, okay. get it. Exactly. So, so yes. I'm just I'm just telling you. So, all right. So for me, mm -hmm. high school football was the hardest. College football got easier, mm -hmm. and professional football is very easy to play because I'm only worrying about my job. I don't have to worry about everybody else's job. Mm -hmm. I know that if this man doesn't do what he's supposed to do or he do uh -huh. or is supposed to do, they'll get fired. So mm -hmm. I know that the given, I have my givens, uh -huh. that he is going to do this or he is going to get fired, that, then that makes it easier for me to do my job because I know what his responsibility is. Yeah. So if I'm sitting there as a linebacker, my, my cheat is, it's okay if I talk about, yeah, so, so my cheat was looking at the guards, mm -hmm. the guards, this side guard and the, and the opposite side guard would tell me pretty much what the play was relative to the down and distance. Mm -hmm. So it's easier. Right. I mean, like your, your job is, it's, it's like, yeah. you know, you go in your book and yeah. you're like, well, he did this, he did this. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be this. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. Right. And now, so the only thing that is different relative to the levels is the speed. Professional football is very, very fast, but everybody's fast. There's nobody out there on the football field that's not fast, you know. So, so that's a given, you know. So how do you combat uh, combat uh, speed? And that's by knowledge. If this guy does this, this guy does this. The down and distance is this, and they're on the field. They're on this part of the field. Then that means that the play is going over there. Mm -hmm. So instead of me running myself over there yeah. <laughs> after it's already over there, yeah. why don't I go over there and wait for it to come to me? Right. And 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 it's the same thing. Like you know, like uh, Tom Brady, he's a master. Mm -hmm. You know, the reason why he's a master is because he's seen it all. He he can already predict what is the outcome of where it's going to be. One thing I was very, very fortunate to uh, experience was to have um, some very famous quarterbacks uh, to be able to play against some very famous quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. So if I'm a chess player, I want to play against the best chess players. Yeah, right. You know, it gets to a yes. point in your career where it's like, I just want to play against the best. Yes. The money is cool. That's all season. Mm -hmm. But I just want to play against the best. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, like Joe Montana. <laughs> dude, this dude is a football god. <laughs> you know, like, this yeah. is what I'm telling you. Yeah. He is a football god. He is a master. So when you sit in there and you you break the huddle and you're watching the quarterback when he comes out, so he's coming towards the line. And as he's coming to the line, he's already read the defense and already decided where he's going to throw the ball. Mm -hmm. I mean, like you see this, like literally, like as I'm looking yeah. to you, yeah. you're, Joe, you're Joe Montana. And he's reading the defense, you know what I'm saying? And you're watching his eyes, yeah. you know, it's to be that close to somebody and watch their eyes yeah. and be playing against them. That's and he's crazy. already, yeah. And then, yeah, and then he's already decided where he's going to throw the ball. Mm -hmm. And now, now it's up to you to be like, okay, I hope he's not throwing it at my man. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm good as long as he ain't throwing it at my guy. <laughs> yeah. Man, I got to work now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just telling you, like, it's, it you know and like my very first time uh uh first snap against a, another quarterback was which was Warren Moon mm -hmm. and uh, I mean I was kind of like in a daze because I was like man 
that's Warren Moon. <laughs> you know, yes. you you know, know could you imagine your first time in a <laughs> yes. stand? Yes. And you know, yes. and you're looking across this dude. That's a, that's Warren Moon. That's Warren Moon. Warren Moon's under the, under the snap. And I was like, oh, snap out of dick. Snap out. And so he was like, okay. And then, wait, it, wait, yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, and then I was all good after that point. Yeah. Hit him. Yeah. Dude, this is up to 23,000. How is, how are you getting that kind of money? That's amazing. I need to do one of these. Yeah. <laughs> You're coming next friend. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. So when you won your first Super Bowl, and you you know you're talking about that energy or that rush, how did you feel that one time, like the first first time that you won your first Super Bowl? <laughs> so I went back home. I went back home, and one of the guys had a video camera. Like so, this is back in the night, you know. So this, uh, like this dude had a video camera, and, and uh. I went over his house and he had the video camera. And he said, uh, he said, Dixon, you, you know, you won the Super Bowl. You know, uh, how do you feel? And he had me on the camera. And I said to him, I said, man, I'm just glad it's over. <laughs> so, I promise you, I wasn't happy. I was like, dude, I'm just glad it's over. You just you have no idea of how hard that was to 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 do all that, you know, from the training, mm -hmm. dude, from the training camp in Austin, all the heat, you know, keep going, Coach Johnson, you know, and, and it was just like a revolving door. You didn't know where you were going or coming. And I mean, like everybody had an angry face over there. Go back and look at the, the footage on YouTube. Who was smiling on the sideline? <laughs> no, nobody was smiling ever. And that's, a, that's the first Super Bowl. Dude, I'm talking the first Super Bowl, nobody smiling. <laughs> Like, try to find somebody that was like, smiling. So yeah, so like so 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 Coach Johnson. <laughs> so Coach Johnson, he, he would uh he would have the entire city of Dallas uh with the red ass. So so when he what he do is he he'll come in there and he'll piss us off. Then we go home and oh we piss God. off our kids, oh our wives. God. Our wives go kid piss off the kids. The kids go to school, piss off other kids in school. Oh then all the kids in school and the teachers go back home and they piss off them. So it's like a virus. Coach Johnson was the reason why the whole city of Dallas has got the red ass and ass all perked up. That's him. The whole city. That was my next question. How was your experience with Coach Johnson? No, no shoot, that's the man. Oh, shoot, man, Coach Johnson's all right. That's all right, dude. Yeah. Yeah, he's a great man. He's a very great man. Nobody truly understood what he did, you know, and, and to this day, they don't, they don't really have an appreciation for what Coach Johnson did. That man, he was amazing, amazing dude. Yeah. So, Definitely. but, uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, when he was let go, were you – you know, we heard thoughts, emotions. Shoot, man, I was, you know, see, the problem you have that with that is um, you as a professional, mm -hmm. you are a certain style of player. Now, when they have a coaching change, does the coaching change that comes in believe in the same philosophy of mm -hmm. player? That's like the mark is where. Yeah. Demarcus Ware he had to leave to go to Denver to get him a Super Bowl mm -hmm. because he's an he's an he's a defensive end outside linebacker. He's a three four line outside mm -hmm. outside linebacker and not a four three outside linebacker. I cannot play the same position as Demarcus Ware and Demarcus Ware probably couldn't play what I play. How mm -hmm. I played a four three, right. mm -hmm. you know. So and that's the thing. So you now you got like a new line, you know, a new regime. Like mm -hmm. everybody's new and. uh and so you, you know, you're concerned, right. you know, that, I mean, like you, you might, might not have a job uh, above and beyond every draft, <laughs> every, yes. every draft is like, dude, is it me they're getting rid of? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like every year I, I was in the league, it's like, dude, they, they drafted some damn new linebacker. Oh, no. So then they drafted Darren Smith. And I was like, dude, I'm out of here. You know, yeah. Yeah, for real, because right. I was like, Darren Smith is a weak outside linebacker. And at the time, I was a weak outside linebacker. Yeah. They had to move me. to I had to move the strong outside linebacker. So I'm a little bitty dude playing strong outside linebacker. You know, like, you know, those guys are big. You know, yeah. like those guys that were outside linebackers, strong outside linebackers, they were all big. And I was like a little dude. You know, yeah. I'm like, I'm like 218 playing strong outside linebacker. Yeah. So it was a little, it was. 
it was physically tough as well. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. No, that's crazy. And um, so I'm going to ask, which I don't know if I'm going to know the answer or not. Are you going to be able to give the answer in regards to the Super Bowls? Um, so do you like to wear the, the Super Bowl rings? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was like. That's what I was like. Do I even right. ask that question? It's okay. No, it's <laughs> Are you right. kind of just like, okay, let's go back to the closet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I'm gonna tell you something, right? <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. So I put them in the safety deposit bo box uh, in '97. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never. When I went to Minnesota, I never wore them. So they were, you know, when I got my last one, it was in the safe deposit box. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't take them out of there until like 2011, something like that. Wow. So it, they were in the safe deposit box. So they had been in the safe deposit box so long that um, there was a dead bug in it. <laughs> in, the, in the safety deposit Jeez. box, it was a dead bug in there. Yeah. I was like, dude, but he died happy. He yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, he got, he got a super, he got a, he got a serene. I got three of them, baby. Three of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ate it, of course. <laughs> That's how I got my superpower. <laughs> I know, we only got a couple before he turns into Yeah. <laughs> That's right, midnight. Yeah. We gotta watch out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you when you were done, like you were done done. You were just Yeah, like, like I said, I've never was a, a football fan. Yeah. You know, I'm just yeah, I was never, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just never, you know, I, I just never I never uh, understood the lifestyle, digged it, you know, yeah. that, that yeah. whole deal. You know, it's a, it's funny. It's like a, it's quite a few guys that are like that. You know, they they understand it that it's a job, and mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I appreciate um, I appreciate y'all inviting me, and you know, this is cool oh, that you know we can yeah we can relive some of this stuff that yeah. you know this it's it's faded away to history, you know, and it's cool to sit around and actually talk about it sometimes now. Yes. Where, you know, before it was just like, you know, and, you know, so funny, like <laughs> maybe like maybe like like uh, maybe like six, six, seven years ago, people didn't even know I could talk. <laughs> like, for real. Yeah. I didn't even start talking until like maybe six years ago. <laughs> for real. Like, yes, guys. No, yes. no. Like, I mean, like literally, I, yeah. I, would, I would go places and never say nothing. Yeah. Like, I, I don't talk. I just but didn't, you I just never, didn't want to, or I, just, you, I don't know. I just never talk. Just never talk. Yeah. I guess I really have anything to say. Yeah. I guess you, you you're asking me these questions, so I guess I guess so, I guess I can do. It. Yeah, so yes, <laughs> somebody actually does care. Oh. Of course, yes. <laughs> our, our our thing here, um, you know, with, you know, of course we're fans first. Yes, but we are also those kind of fans that appreciate, um, you know, what has been done. Uh, in a personal level as players. Yes. Oh, thank um, you very there, much. There's fans that, you know, could care less, you know, yeah. about the players. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's, it's the W. I want yeah. the W. Yes, exactly. Yeah, everybody yeah. wants the W. We so we like to way. bring something different. Like, I, I, you know, I've, I've been uh, helping out uh, MD, Michael Downs. Oh, okay. Um, and, and with everything that he's going through. Yeah. So I was like, we, you know, we as fans need to appreciate what exactly. what these players did to entertain us. It was entertainment yeah. at the yeah. end of the day. It was yes. entertainment for but us. To you, but for, for us, you guys. But for you guys, it wasn't entertainment. That's your right. lives. That's your body. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So that's something that it's deep, and, and people don't really think about it, especially these new generations. They're just like, we want to see somebody get hit. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's all I want to see. I want to see touchdowns. Like, no, yeah. I want to see this, this and that. Or... Yeah. So that's the thing that. We want to bring out, you know, to the fro to the forefront and and show that, you know, the players more to it. Yeah, you know, have more to it. It, it, it wasn't just you know yeah. entertainment and, yeah. and that's it. I mean, oh, it's cool. You know? Yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's 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 cool. I think it's cool to sit down and talk to guys and different yeah. people about it now. Absolutely. Yeah, so I don't think that that I would even been good in this this era mm -hmm. of playing football. Yeah. You know, because I, yeah, because it's not mm -hmm. physical. You know, I was 
I was about the physical part of the game, mm -hmm. right? You know, so yeah, yeah, it is different now. Yeah, it's like compared to before. Yeah, a lot but, of players. Yeah. I think the last one that I can think of is, is Roy Williams. Uh, he he was a hard hitter, and then yeah. when they changed the rules, that oh, that's right. You can't, you can't, you can't. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you sit on there and you watch like uh, something like uh, an Instagram post, and you'll be like seeing somebody get hit, and the and the flags come out, and you're like, dude, that's. That's like that's like nothing, that's you know. Nothing. What I'm saying? I mean, and they throw flags like that in in, in uh, uh, high school now. Right. I'm like they're just throwing them. Like it's like you, you know. get one, you get one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, Who wants one? Play. Play. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be, be touch football. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine this. Um, I was telling people, man, I could imagine that in probably five or five years or so. They're gonna take kickoff out of it. Like there will be no more kickoffs and there will be no more punts. It's almost there. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine that that's gonna happen soon. That there's gonna be no more punts, and yes. uh, and then you know they're gonna have uh, what is it? You know these super helmets and all this other stuff, <laughs> and you know. Right. Well, see, you know the other thing too is that uh, I think what's causing a lot of the injuries is the. Um, false sense of security of of protection uh with a flag right well he hits me he gets a 15 yard penalty yeah. you know and i he think the big, the big one too is the 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 fines <laughs> like, you know who wants to get a fifteen thousand dollar uh bill in the in the, in the mail because you took you know a, a wrong hit or you gave a wrong hit or, or whatever yeah have you so, ever did the math on a on a on a player salary Mm. Oh, okay, good. Just do the math on the player's salary. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> I Especially did, the, I did the drafted the, guys that uh, yeah. are getting those big fines. <laughs> like... Yeah, but if you look at the the amount of money they make, you know, so when I played, mm -hmm. when I played my my best contract year, I made $156,000 a game. So a game. So how many plays is that divided by, you know, I play mm -hmm. 60 plays. Right. So I'm out there every snap, you know, I'm like making, making like, you know, say $3,000 a snap. Right. <laughs> every right. snap I'm making yeah. 3,000. I just, I just made that play right yeah. there. <laughs> Hold on a second. The ball didn't even come over here. Didn't make a tackle. And I just made three grand. Yeah. I was like, dude, you know, so. Can you make some more snaps? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, some more? No, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, but it's like, man, it's, it's how much money they're making, you know, and you just, it's just, it's just increasing. And, right. uh, okay. but it's justified, you know, they, um, it's a very big business. And it's, it's a, it's, a, man, it's, the show is very amazing now. Mm -hmm. When you start looking at the production of mm -hmm. football, go back and look at them 70s, the 1970s <laughs> production. Shoot, I was looking at a 1970s game and they had cars on the field. <laughs> Dude, this player ran into a car what? on the field. No way. This is what I'm saying. Literally, ran like you remember you were like a little kid yeah. and used to play street yeah. ball and you run into a car. Dude, car boom. Yeah, car boom. You know what yeah. I'm saying? This, this dude ran into a car running running the pass. They like they had cars on the field. Like somebody just drove in. Have you ever seen a? <laughs> I gotta go buy these. Like... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like uh, uh, Mr. Big and uh, who was the Smoking the Bandit? Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Big, exactly. remember when he came in with the red uh, Cadillac <laughs> with the horns on it? He yeah. Just, yeah, he just drove in there. It's like it sat in the middle of the arena. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to watch the game from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to sit right in my car exactly. with my date. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. I'm gonna take you I'm gonna take you to this pro. Bum, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take you to this pro game. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of tight. Just drive down the like down the tunnel and then just stay him drive down yeah. in the tunnel and just park on the field with, with my date. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna take the best date ever. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you on a date. And this today, like, you saw Dixie just hit our car. <laughs> yeah, he just, yeah, he just ran into the car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, you know souvenir right here. <laughs> yeah, souvenir dent. <laughs> yeah. Sign this dent for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a yeah. different era. Sure. Yeah, oh man, it was just it was just <laughs> amazing what they were doing. Oh man, the stuff that they were doing back then. It was like like the players don't have pads on their arms, right? Mm -hmm. Like they have no pads on their arms. 
There's a reason why them dudes had pads on their arms because that junk was violent. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you do. I mean, like, I mean, like, every game I was bleeding somewhere on my body. I was bleeding <laughs> somewhere every game, you know. So your body was happy when it when you were. Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> what are we, yeah, what are we gonna do with all this extra blood? <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah. Get a you need to get a nosebleed every once in a while to t- drain some of this out. <laughs> it's like yeah. So I was like, yeah, it was like, dude, it was. I mean, look at all these scars. It's like stuff all over me, man. My fingers all messed up and everything. But you know, one thing about guys, they uh, they would say that they would never, they wouldn't trade it. You know, everybody has all these illnesses and mm-hmm, all these mm-hmm. bang up things. We got my neck don't move and mm-hmm. shoulder and this that and my knees and all this stuff. They, they just wouldn't trade it. Would you trade it? Hell no. You know, the cool thing about it is that, you know, uh, I've already done all the hard work mm-hmm. uh, relative to um, building the name as a brand. Mm-hmm. So all my family underneath me, you know, they can they can ride that coattail, mm-hmm. you know. So I took all the I did all the work, you know, just like my dad did all the work, you know, what I'm saying for for me. Yes. And his dad did for him. So, Absolutely. you know, so I did all the work now. Now it's your opportunity to go ahead and do it. And this will give you an opportunity to potentially uh, get in the door in a, in, in a situation where you normally would not. So yes. I've done I've done that work. So it's up to them to figure out what they want to do with it. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, awesome. yeah, I oh, sorry. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't mean to get sentimental. To, you gotta play. You gotta play the music. <laughs> like sad music. So, so like, so the, yeah, yeah. Bring it back yeah, back yeah, back. yeah, yeah. The, the sad. You know, what is this? Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so uh, have you? Do you remember the movie? Uh, the uh, television show. Yeah, this is before y'all were born. What? So the, yeah, the uh, back in the seventies, it used to have a television called The Incredible Hulk. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So go that's whenever you, song. yeah, yeah, when, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, that sad song. Do 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 do. Yeah, do 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 do. Every every episode, he's leaving to go to somewhere else yeah. and tear it up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You got to leave town again. Do 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 do. Yeah, so that sad music. Yeah, that that, that was it. Yeah. yeah. So everybody, everybody got to go to YouTube now. And look up this, the, 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 this, original, the, the original, 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 yeah, the end of that song. <laughs> so everybody, so everybody that leaves the show, we're gonna find that. Yeah, everybody that leaves the show has to play the, the sad music. <laughs> yeah, that'd be tight. Hold on a second, that made me sweat. That made me sweat. Yeah, I need your, I need your book. I need your book. Yeah. That's that how me, much fun we're having yeah. right here. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. That the stadium. What else you need? I thirty right here. Yeah, I thirty. You know, yeah. Shoot, they fix. They they finally. Open up some of the exits on the deal <laughs> after four years. Only, only, only four years. That's it. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, well, we got we got right, questions. We got some comments. We got Glama Wu. She says, "I love him. Great sense of humor." Oh, uh, yeah. Who, who is his all-time favorite football player? That's one of her questions. Ooh. Who is your all-time football player? Okay, so, well, let me see. All right, so, work ethic football player, like you know, like. Excuse me. So my my let me see. My my idol, excuse me, for a long, long time was um uh Ronnie Lott, mm-hmm. you know, because he could he could come up and hit and do all that kind of stuff like oh, yeah. that. And then once and once I finished playing, one of my favorite football players is Michael Irvin. Okay. Yeah, you know, during while I was playing with him, I didn't really like him, but you know. <laughs> But after, you know, after, you know, after it was all said and done, I ain't got to deal with him and shit. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I would say probably Michael Irvin, you know, because right. he just, it was the effort that he put in on the field, you know, and a lot of people, I mean, like you, you sit back and you say, okay, uh, coach Johnson, uh, he, he could bark at you. He could bark at you all day. I don't know if coach John had the ability to tackle somebody or show, you know, any physical effort at all. But 
uh, he did put in place uh, a person like uh, Michael Irving, uh, Troy Aikman, and these guys had amazing uh, work ethic. So you you sit back and you watch those lions uh, hunting, you know, like the, the young lions coming up and hunting and everything. They're learning it by watching the other guy. Watch the older guy in front of you. So the guy that I used, you know, I was sitting on my knee and I was just watching this dude. This dude is relentless every play in practice. And a lot of people don't realize that, especially when you get to the professional level, is that you uh, you become good in practice, mm -hmm. not the game. Absolutely. It, it's the practice. The practice is the hardest part. Yeah. And, you know, and once you become you beat yourself up and you work very hard and practice in the off season and everything like that. When you get to the game, this dude across from you, he just ain't at your level. Mm -hmm. And that's what you got to do. You know, right. you got to make sure that you're on a relentless level that this man, he'll, he'll have no, he has, he has no more fight in him, mm -hmm. you know? And, uh, and so when you, I watch people like, you know, Michael Irvin, uh, what he did and how he, he did things. Uh, it, it really motivated me. And uh, like I said, that was the hardest working dude I've ever seen on a football field, you know, and uh, and it was it was Michael Irvin. Mm -hmm. And he he really, really taught me a lot. So, you know, you're just about effort and integrity, mm -hmm. you know, and, and and I mean, integrity is is doing what you know should be done when nobody's around you. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. You know, there is. Watching. Yeah. Ain't nobody watching. You know, so when you sweep when you sweep your house up and nobody's around you, do you sweep the, sweep it for real? No, I sweep it like somebody's or is somebody sitting there watching me, you know. So, and that's that integrity is related to you know that work ethic. Yeah. And I you think know, so. a lot of these teams nowadays are missing people like that. Well, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you have to have um, you have to have some support, and the the leadership support starts with the head coach. Mm -hmm. You know, Absolutely. you know if. The effort that Michael Irving would mean nothing if he didn't have Coach Johnson uh, echoing that this is the effort that you need to give. Yeah. And if you wish to be uh, remain, uh, if you wish to remain on this team, this is the type of effort you need to be able to give. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then and 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 be able to pull the trigger on the individuals that don't give that mm -hmm. that amount of effort. They should leave. Exactly. You are you are poisoning the group. <laughs> yes. you know what is it i don't cut you you cut yourself exactly. you know and you know so like my um defensive coordinator in uh in uh college was uh nick Saban. Okay. yeah shoot yeah. man <laughs> that dude right there man yeah you know you know he's, he's not a big dude but <laughs> man he be, oh down. my goodness dude yeah he, he, it's, it's, it's amazing you like dude it's like man I don't think I'm not for real. I don't think I've ever any seen any swing on anybody or whatever. But he looked like he, shoot, he'll go off on you, man. And you know, yeah, it was Coach Sab Coach Saban, yeah, he was, he was one of those guys, just like Coach Johnson. You know, he got it out of you. You know, yes. even you know my head coach. I um, mean, my head coach in college, mm -hmm. uh, George Perlis was, which was the defensive coordinator to the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers when uh, they were winning their Super Bowls. He was yes. the defensive coordinator them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he, they just, you know, and, you know, I guess what my, my hardest, the, the roughest coach that I had was in high school, though. So, yeah, yeah, he was really, really tough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for real. Like, I think he, we all have stories about dude, high school. Dude, man, he was he <laughs> was the worst. Yeah, he was the worst one out of all of them. <laughs> <Shoot>. <laughs> I, I, I want to know why you didn't like Michael Irwin at that time back then. Well, well you know. Um, As a teammate. No, 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 I, I, no. It's it's the arrogance, mm. you know. Like, yeah, a lot of yeah. like, you know, like, that's what I hear. Yeah, and I've never, mm -hmm. you know, I've never been on a team that didn't have a number one receiver that wasn't, you know, arrogant. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, they're all they are, they, you know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen the movie Bolt? Bolt. No. Bolt. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Just... <laughs> <laughs> If the dog <laughs> believes it, the audience believes it. <laughs> and them dogs believed it, boy. They believed it for real, boy. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Look, look at you. I now she got a fan of self again. I gotta put this this comment of Stephanie. Oh, what did she say? She said, Y'all are having a lot of fun. <laughs> and I don't even drink. <laughs> this is what this show is about. <laughs> That's why I don't drink either, because imagine. Uh, just, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we got some more comments. Let's see here. Ramon Sanchez. He says, orale loco. I think that's for me. Uh, yeah. uh, Sherry Godmother. All the hard work day in, day out is appreciated. So she says she appreciates all that hard work. Oh, what's up? Uh, yeah, thank you very much. I sure appreciate uh, it. Johnny Diaz, cool. Cowboys Nation, DC Live for Life. Stand up. Let's go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> You know. uh, Alex RM, which is Big Boss. Greetings to everybody there. Great memories. Come to me watching Dixon from Pachuca, Mexico. Greetings. Aww. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Greetings from Mexico. Uh, Super Cabo, Super Cabo. Soy tu fan. Saludos a Princess Angie. Un abrazo. Hola. Grande. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for abrazos, your comments. Abrazos. We should do the raffle real quick. Oh, no? yeah. Oh. <laughs> <Before we forget. laughs> so, <laughs> so, so am, I, am I grabbing it? Uh -huh. one out, yeah. Do you want to say what, um, so that way people that are watching that are new? So everybody that comments goes into the raffle for the next show. Oh, uh, oh so these are actual, oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, comments from, from shows from before. Didn't they, and they win something? Yes. Yes. Oh, what, 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 what did, little, what did they get, little, Banner? A little, a little care package, a little thingy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> a little thingy. thingy. Yeah, a little thingy. <laughs> no, it's a joke, guys. It's a uh, joke. It's a joke. Yeah, as long as the little thingies are up. <laughs> just got to keep the little thingies up. <laughs> Look at you turning red again. I should have brought this. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Should have had a swimsuit on underneath that deal. I'm always cold, but not today. <laughs> oh, it's me. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. And ready? it's the coolest day of the year. Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, I'm picking. Uh huh. That way we know it, that, that people a... know it's not rigged. Here we go. So I'm, I'm getting this one that was folded. Okay. Folded. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if you <laughs> it's his writing, so I have. <laughs> Robert Morales. Robert Morales. Congratulations. Woo! Winner, winner. Chicken hey, dinner. Hey, hey. We'll contact hey. you. We'll send you your, your, your prize package. <laughs> With the thingies. <laughs> they're, 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 coming, the thingies. they're coming for you now. Yes. They're on their way. <laughs> We're going to make some shirts. We're all gonna the, the thingies. thingies. Got to keep the little... Keep the little thingy up. Yeah. Keep the, thing, oh the little God. thingy up. Oh, <laughs> you were still. Look at you. You okay? All right. Y'all having too much fun Have today. Fun. Late night show. Yeah, another comment. Johnny Diaz says, Congrats, Robert. Yes, congrats, Robert. Yeah, congrats. congrats. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for Thank you. See you guys. So if you comment. Great. You get to win something. It looks like we're froze. Oh, we are frozen. What uh, you do? Uh, it's probably this laptop. Oh, <laughs> live we're not frozen though, so we're good. No, we're, oh, we're yeah, we're good live. We're good live. But um, do you have any crazy questions for him? Crazy. Or crazy? Uh, we asked him earlier. My my crazy question because I asked the question question so is uh, your favorite food. What's your favorite food? What is your your go to? Like you know what? I gotta go get this. Oh man, so. My favorite food would be meatloaf. Meatloaf. Yeah, what? I would say meatloaf. Nice. Yeah, not me. You know, not Papa Brother's Steakhouse because mm -hmm. that's the best steakhouse not to me. People like meatloaf. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I would rather have a great meatloaf mm -hmm. than I would rather have a steak. Ah, yeah, nice. yeah, steak, yeah, steak and lobster. Always, I would, I would rather have a meal. We always get these, these cool yeah. answers. Yeah. Ken yeah. said he, he likes uh, albondiga soup. Albondigas. Oh, what is that? Albondiga soup, which is like a meatball soup. Oh, like okay. Mexican meatball soup. Yeah. See? Or oh, was it caldo de res? No, it was caldo de res, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. It's either it way. Was, it's a soup. It was a beef soup. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Mexican beef soup, caldo de res. Mm, meatloaf. Yeah. But yeah, but a lot of people usually don't like meatloaf. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, yeah, day. yeah. Especially my mom. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my mom. Yeah, I was gonna ask yeah. That. yeah. Oh my goodness, dude. Yeah. That thing was yeah. Mom's yeah. Oh works. my goodness. Yeah. Meatloaf and uh mashed potatoes. Uh, yeah, I would take that. 
you know, I would take that. Yeah, I would just. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. I can feel you swelling over there. <laughs> so, yeah, it would be yeah, meatloaf and yeah, mashed potatoes. Yeah, that would be yeah, that would be the deal. Do you cook? Um, I yeah, so I you know a little bit. I mm-hmm. do okay, and um, and uh, okay, I, I mean, eat your food. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I mean, no, I mean, you know, I have people they they like it so i i can i can do what i'm told i follow directions okay you know so if the recipe says i do what the recipe says and it comes out so i make the best lasagna ever the problem i have with making lasagna now Uh is i lost the recipe and it was like so so you know (laughs) it's one of the recipes where you actually make the sauce. So you got to go get all the, the okay. ingredients okay. and all this other stuff. I, I'm not doing the, the ragu. People take the ragu right. and the right. chicken, the whole deal. Yeah. Like, I only thing, I don't make the noodles. You know, I, I want to get to the level where I make the noodles. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's got like, so this, this thing on lasagna, by the time you buy all the ingredients, it's like $180 a damn lasagna. You know what I'm saying? You're like, I'm just going yeah. Costco. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's go get this frozen deal. So, so this yeah. girl, the girl, she said, uh, I want you to make lasagna this tonight. And I said, oh, okay. You know, so I went to the, I got a recipe and I went and bought all this shit. Yeah. You know, dude, like the sauce had to simmer for like 45 minutes yeah. before you could even pour it on the deal and do all this yeah. other stuff. Like it was a, it was a process, yeah. you know? And, um, and, and she was like, well, I thought, I thought you was just gonna go buy one of them frozen ones. I was like, no, I, you said, man, yeah, you said, yeah, you said, man, you know, and I kind of dig you. I like you a little bit, you know. So I'm gonna yeah. so show out. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah shoot. Sure. <laughs> the little, the little thingies, the little thingies, little thingies. <laughs> get the little thingies Johnny, up. Johnny Diaz says meatloaf is fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Meatloaf is fire. Yeah, I'm talking about you know. Not the little that that meatloaf pack thing. I'm talking about chopped up green onions, you know, green pepper, yeah. onions, and the whole deal, you know, and then put it all together and stuff. And a nice, a really good bread, you know, a really good bread, you know, like uh. So I I, I was using the the twelve grain bread, and uh, that turns out pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the twelve grain bread, nice. and then wow. uh, and a, and a good. And a good ketchup, a little sometimes a little bit of A1 uh, works out, and a little 57 yeah. sometimes. And uh, <laughs> Make you know. me hungry. Yeah. <laughs> so, so somebody gave me a really good recipe for um, sloppy Joe. Mm. Man, it's so simple, but it's just it's so bad. So, uh, so you take, you know, what I do is I, I get two pounds of, um, I get two ta- pounds of, uh, of. Uh, it needs to be have a little fat in it when it's mm-hmm. cooking. So I'm not, I haven't tried it with like 73, mm-hmm. you know, but I, I usually get like an 85, 15, mm-hmm. you know, that's mm-hmm. cool. That's enough fat. Mm-hmm. But I could imagine it being a lot better with the fat and then draining the fat off mm-hmm. after it's already in. So um, take the uh, uh, ground beef and then put uh, basically a whole thing of uh, organic ketchup in there, brown sugar, but you saute the um green peppers and onions and do all that stuff first yeah. and then you put all that stuff in there with the brown sugar and uh just a little bit of uh frenchies uh mustard on top of that yeah. and a little bit of of uh, a1 and just sit there and let it simmer and fry up for you know like a good half an hour and then let it cool down Cause you know how it sloppy it's real runny yeah. until you cool it down yeah. and then it starts to get a little solid yeah. and then i take the scooper and just put like it so just like the uh, scooper that you would have in uh <laughs> when you were in ele- elementary yeah like oh, elementary yeah. You remember they used to do that <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the lady the lunch lady used to take the scooper <laughs> the, like, <laughs> yeah throw it on your plate move next <laughs> Next, exactly. <laughs> we, we have learned so much from you yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and then take the, uh, and then I get the fries. But I cook all the what you call it. But I go get my fries from uh, Wingstop. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So I buy all. Yeah. So I buy the fries from Wingstop, and then we have sloppy joes, and then I get the 
the real good like Hawaiian bun bread, uh-huh. which is kind of oh, sweet. Yes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yes, that's good. And then throw some cheese on there. Yeah, you know that four. Uh, what's that four 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 types of uh, Mexican cheese, whatever they call it. Yeah. Yeah, you know the four cheese. Yeah, the four cheese, yeah, the four cheese yeah. and it's already grated. Yep. Throw that on there, yeah. and <laughs> and we use uh, hot dog buns for the sloppy jokes. What? <laughs> yeah, dude. Just, just think about it. No, but for real, think about it, right? So when you're doing the hot sloppy joes, uh-huh. you know the, the, the junk falls out. Uh-huh. So I take and put the cheese down in in the crease of the hot okay. dog bun, uh-huh. and then throw the sloppy joe on top of it, uh-huh. and now you can just eat it like a hot dog. So it doesn't <laughs> fall. Yeah. Damn. Nice. Hey, dude, yeah. like badass. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly. like you're, yeah. you're making our audience. I'm going to his house. Yeah, yeah. Sherry's like, I'm hungry now. <laughs> we went from football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like what? Uh, yes. What else you want to tell? Yeah, little, little, little thingies. Little thingies. <laughs> she's like, Dick said is so interesting. See, I'm telling you. <laughs> he's so, he's, I don't know. Just, is that a positive thing? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> baby, you real interesting, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you show sure is interesting. Stephanie's out here. She's like, I bet you thought he was really quiet, right? Yeah, so, yeah. He's fine. He's fine, guys. Uh, no, but oh, you're welcome very much. Yeah. yeah. So, no more questions? No. Oh, I made yeah, it through the list. You did. You did. <laughs> this was fun. This was, I really appreciate you coming on. Oh, the yeah, show. yeah. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. I had a good time. Yeah, yeah this is cool. I did too. Now we got to cook. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, so, yeah, exactly. yeah. Well, shoot, what time is it? Yeah, yeah. No, but thank you so much for coming. Oh, you're welcome very much. Yeah, you know, yeah. I had a really good time. You know, so. kind of going down a little bit memory lane, and you know. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to ask you any questions at all. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. You from Dallas? No, I am not. Where are you from? California. What part? Um, San Fernando Valley. It's like oh, okay. fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, I guess, from LA. Oh, okay. Well, what we'll so. brought you out here? Uh, party. 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 <laughs> party. We have party over here. Coming uh, to California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I haven't been quiet. out there in a while. Yeah. yeah the so. economy yeah. and everything going on. Oh, that's right. So you're one of those jump, <laughs> jump ship. That's what I was like. Yeah, she's one of. You know, we're killing 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 our great nation of Texas. Get out. (laughs) I was watching a YouTube video. It sounds like uh Texas is gonna be the center of the universe. Mm -hmm. Like for the world. It's gonna be like Texas is gonna be it for real because of the oil, all the oil reserves and uh all the companies coming here. Like, dude, it's everything's gonna be here in Texas. This is the spot. Yeah, Yeah, for the world. No, but yeah, we're here and I'm here on our show. So yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Though, I appreciate but... it. You know, <laughs> thank you to our sponsors once again, Juana Taco, La Sirena Mexican Seafood and Bar, Front End Inc., Mr. David Martinez Entertainment. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for sharing our video. Uh, thank you to Dixon for uh, having yes. some time here with us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Love really having you on the show. It. And uh, that's it for tonight, guys. All right. Um, like we always say, Go Cowboys. Go Cowboys. Bye.